Here we have a problem that deals with intersection and conditional probability. And these are both things uh, we've worked with before, but here we're going to put them together. It says, suppose that a certain college class contains 51 students. Of these, 30 are juniors, 24 are economics majors, and 6 are neither. A student is selected at random from the class, and we want to know what's the probability that the student is both a junior and an economics major. So that's the intersection. And given that the student selected is an economics major, what is the probability that she is also a junior? So that's one of those conditionals. Um, this is the probability of being a junior given uh, being an economics major. So let's start by writing out the probabilities that we already have here. Uh, we have the probability of being a junior. There are 30 juniors out of 51 students. So I'm going to call that P of J. That equals 30 out of 51. We also have the probability of being an economics major. So the probability of E is 24 out of 51. And then here's where it gets a little tricky. They're telling us six are neither. What does that really mean? Well, the union would be being one or the other or both. This is the opposite of that. These are, are people who are neither. So what we really have is the probability of not the union of being a junior and e economics major. And that is 6 out of 51. Now that might seem a little odd to have the probability of the, not the union here, but we can figure out the probability of the union pretty easily by the complement rule. The complement rule says that if you have not something, then you can find out the thing by subtracting it from one. So the probability of the union of being a junior and an economics major, that is being one or the other or both, is one minus six fifty-firsts. So that's going to be forty-five fifty-firsts. All right, I think we have everything we need now. Uh, let's look at this first problem again, the A part. It says, what's the probability that the student is both a junior and an economics major? That's the intersection. For that, we're going to use that uh, addition formula for probability. And with that formula, we can, we can write it this way. We can say the probability of the intersection of two things is the probability of the first thing plus the probability of the second thing minus the probability of the union of those two things. And we've got all of those pieces, so we can just plug them into the formula. So that would be 30 50 firsts plus 24 50 firsts minus the union. We just figured that out. That is 45 50 firsts. So we crunch the numbers on that. And that is 9 50 firsts. Um, I think we can simplify that though. Yeah, 3 17 So that is part A. That is the intersection. And that's going to be useful because the next part we have a conditional probability here. It says given that the student is selected, given that the student selected is an economics major, what is the probability that she is also a junior? So that says the probability of being a junior given being an economics major. The formula for that is the intersection, the probability of the intersection of those two things, divided by the probability of the given, so P of E. And let's see, the intersection we just said was 3 17 And the probability of being an economics major, that was 24 51st. So we've got a complicated fraction here. I think I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 51. So that'll cancel. There are th 3 17s and 51, so that's going to become a 9. So that's 9 24ths, and that simplifies to 3 eighths. So the probability of being a junior given being an economics major is 3 over 8. So that's a little bit of work with intersection and conditional probability.